Today we are learning how to make anything wobble and float. Now there are like 10 different ways to achieve this effect. You could use some third party assets, plain old animation or something else. But let's try to reverse engineer this and break it into smaller parts that we are familiar with. Looking at the motion we can see that the object rotates around its z axis in a very smooth fashion. This means that we should use some kind of quaternion lerp with the time delta in the update method. As for the back and forth motion, we can achieve this by randomly changing our target angle. We can use Unity's invoke repeating method to change the target angle once in a while. Let's now jump into code and see. Create a script called wobble. First things first, let's create a quaternion variable called target angle. In the update method, do a quaternion lerp towards this target angle with time delta to smoothen things up. Now we need to have a way to change the target angle once in a while so let's let's do an invoke repeating call right in the start let's give the name of the method as change target and we will start this method right away so set the start as zero as for the repeat rate we should create a variable for easy customization later let's call it weight between wobbles we can now define the change target method below the new target angle will be on the Z axis, so we can use something like a quaternion Euler with forward vector with some random value. But this random value should be both positive and negative because we want to be able to wobble all around. So how to get a random value between minus one and plus one? Here's a nice pattern, remember? The inner random method always returns an angle in radians and the outer mathf sine method returns a value between minus one and plus one. Multiply this value with the Z axis. But this random value is quite small because it's only between minus one and one. So let's create an intensity variable and multiply that too. To be truly random, we should randomize the intensity too. So rather than using the entire intensity, we can use a random intensity instead. That should complete the script. Now in the inspector on some test object, drop the script and hit play. You can see that the object wobbles and we can also tweak the variables to customize the effect. To put this on a text, just put a text mesh on an object with the wobble script and you will get a wobbly floaty text. But make sure to keep the anchor at the middle center. Now you can put this wobble script on the UI text as well, but again make sure that the anchors is in the center otherwise you will get some weird effect. So drop this script on many objects and have a blast. Are you enjoying these videos? Do you dislike something? I'm making these videos for you. So please let me know your feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.